Uh, one thing I'm drawing from your uh, postulation mm -hmm. is that yes. accountability partners, we tend to think is about peer review. Mm. It's about you also having somebody that keeps you on your toes. Mm. But the impression I'm coming away with now is that in addition to those two benefits, are uh, also the benefits of you having them as your network and people will catalyze you mm, and mm, uh, mm. who can recommend you Profound. and also facilitate you into opportunities. So a lot of us don't take it important. Uh, we don't recognize the importance of having accountability partners. Mm -hmm. I have a client that serves presently mm. and uh, is the CEO mm -hmm. of a company that grosses hundreds of millions of naira annually. But in that organization, the number one, number two, and number three problem is the CEO. Mm. But nobody's going to tell him. Now, I've been trying to figure out how to tell him. And uh, I saw the opportunity in beginning by asking him, sir, who are you accountable to? He said, I have a board. Mm. I said, I've attended your board meeting because mm. I requested to attend his board meeting. And I still see that your board people are not so much people who challenge you, mm. who put you on the spot. Who are you accountable to? As Africans, where especially accomplished Africans, we don't see a need to be accountable to any individual or professional body somewhere. Mm. So it's a very good thing that you've touched on this for us in this episode. Mm. Accountability partners, who could be your colleagues, it could be your associates, mm. it could be your mentors, mm -hmm. it could be your role models, mm. or it could just simply be somebody who is a consultant to you as a counselor or a coach. I think it's very important that you touched on that. 